Hey guys and gals, Randy Carter with Angler's Choice here. Hope you're all doing well today. I wanna to take just a minute or two and share a couple of things with you on the hubs on your trailer. Signs to look for that uh, may let you know that there's an impending failure coming. A lot of times they will just fail on you, but sometimes they give you those little subtle signs that let you know that a problem's coming up, that you can address it quickly before it's an issue on the side of the highway. So let's take a few minutes, talk about hubs. All right, so here we are at the hubs of our trailer. Um, just a couple of little indicators that you can watch for for early notification of failure, if you will. Yes, a lot of times these things, by the time you notice it, they're locked up, they're on fire, whatever the case may be going down the road. But just a couple things you can look for. When a hub starts to go bad, the seals start to go bad in it, it starts to leach oil out, of the, out on the rim. So you can look for the indication of grease or fluid on your rims, which is an indicator that seals are going out, you're losing fluid, your bearings getting ready to fail. Another telltale sign, just the heat on the wheel itself. After you make a long pull, say you pull the trailer for an hour or two, you get out of your truck, walk back to the wheel, lay your hand on it. And if you can hold your hand there, I always use a 10 second rule. If I can hold it for 10 seconds, you're within the spec of the heat. It will still be a little heat there, but we're talking about hot is what you're looking for. If you whew, got to get your hand away from there, then we know there's an issue going on. The third thing you can do, which is a little bit more trouble, you can take a standard floor jack, jack this up off the ground, see how much play this tire has in it side to side, top to bottom. You're going to notice a, a minimal amount, we'll say a sixteenth of movement side to side, but if you jack this thing up and you're doing this with the wheel and it's moving an inch each way, we know that there's a failure getting ready to come. So just another item that you can look for to hopefully catch these bearings before they fail on you going down the highway. And like I said, it don't always happen like that, but in a perfect world, we can catch it. So I hope this helped you out. I hope you can get some good information out of it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.